Welcome back to Pride Park for match three of day two of the PlayStation Schools Cup. Kingsdale School taking on Walkden High School in the under 13 Schools Cup for B Teams final. Both teams just making their way out onto the pitch. And let's take a look at the starting lineup, starting with Kingsdale. They've got Woody Robinson in goal. Two is Stan Harms. Three, Joseph John Harvey. Four is Finley Tozer. Five, Charlie Harms. Six, Frank Aldridge. Seven is Jaden Henry. Eight, Oliver Barker. Baker, I should say. Nine, Luca Wood. Ten is Sam Hillier. And 11 is Jasper Gill Lawn. They're coached by James Stewart. For Walkden. We have Bradley Woods in goal. Denzel Narciso is number two. Three is Dominic Eastwood. Four, Jack Hebden. Five, Ben Anderton. Six is Nathan Ranaker. Seven, Luke Tinsley. Eight and captain is Louis Quinn. Nine is Robert Stanger. Ten, Oliver Gaskill. And 11 is Liam Spinks. They're coached by Andrew Tobert. On the bench for the two teams, for Kingsdale, we've got Gantuan Don, Mario Frattini, Alex Vasconcelos, and Rufus McNulty. For walks in, Oliver Byrne, Oliver Cope, Paul Villa, Sam Edge, and Jake Bushby. Our official in charge is Steve Martin. He assisted by Jerome Fields and Ash Jones. The fourth official is Dan Andrews. Two captains lining up with the officials there for the official photograph. And the uh, coin toss now. Let's see a decent crowd in from the Walkden lot, especially. Stephen Jameson alongside John Scales once again here as we've got our third game of the day, the under 13 Schools Cup for B Team's final. Kingsdale are in red, Walkden in white. Kingsdale will have the kickoff and will play from right to left as you look at it. Looking forward to this one, John. Yeah, looking forward to this one. Just looking at the route to the final, Kingsdale. They've only conceded three goals, not conceded more than a single goal in a match in all nine rounds so far. It's not a bad defensive record, is it? It's not bad, is it? Walked in high school, thriller in round four. Saw them fight back from 2-1 down at half-time to defeat Wolferton. School 3-4 away from home. It's Kingsdale on the break here early on, and the cross comes in from Luca Wood. It's well put behind by the Walkden defence. The first corner of the game goes Kingsdale's way. And they're enjoying their day out. Will be taken by Jasper Gill Lawn. Taken right footed. Really dealt with by Walkden. It'll come again to Gill Lawn. Lights it in towards the penalty spot, flicked on, might drop in there for an attacker, and then it's cleared. Now, can Walkton counter hit? Launched into space, and this man has pace. Robert Stanger, got strength as well. Man on the, on the near side here, making a great run, wasn't spotted. And eventually Kingsdale get it away, but that was a really dangerous counter. On the far side, as we look at it, that's it. Oliver Gaskill made a phenomenal run. And if Stanger could have seen him, Walkden might have been in business. And that's well played by Jack Hebden and Walkden to get the ball away under pressure. And a quick start to this game from both sides. Loera from Stan Harms. And a chance to take the shot on, comes in just over the bar, it was fiercely struck by Liam Spinks. Oh, great effort from Liam Spinks. 
He certainly knows where the goal is. Scored two in the second half of that game. I was talking about the thriller in round four when they came from behind at half time. His two goals in the second half were instrumental in getting Walkden to this position. Cuts inside, unleashes the right foot, doesn't trouble the keeper, but it's just a sign of things to come. The threat posed on the left hand side from Walkden. Just there, you get the elbow, arms flailing about. Stan Harms just feeling the effects of that. I think he's going to be okay, he just needs to come off the pitch. But that's an uncomfortable one in the side of the face. Yeah, you'll feel that tomorrow, I'm sure. Goal kick taken by Kingsdale, and the uh, goalkeeper is Woody Robinson. It's helped on by Ranikar. Right, break here for Walkden again, prodded through by Spinks, but to no one in particular. And there is Harms back on the pitch and back into the action as well. Spinks wins it, finds Eastwood. Given away though. Like a foul on Sam Hillier, and indeed it was. Kingsdale yeah. free kick. Luke Tinsley just overzealous in the challenge. Yeah. Launch long. And uh, can be dealt with here by Narciso. Jaden Henry just trying to get on the end of that. Maybe to get a touch or a volley on goal. You see. So three and will be taken by Joseph John Harvey. And it's as you were. Game just slowing down a touch here after a very, very frantic start. Four and a half minutes gone in this under 13 Schools Cup for B teams final. Still goalless between Kingsdale and Walkden. That's nice so nice feed. And the referee's going to pull that back for a free kick against Kingsdale there. Nice just got a hand on the shoulder, tugging him back a touch. That was the first incident. Launched into the Kingsdale half. It'll fall here for Stanger. Tries to poke it through the legs of the defender. He wasn't having any of it. And it's breaking here to Jasper Gill Lawn, who gets it forward. This is done by Eastwood, but he does lose out to Luca Wood. Now driving forward through the midfield. Ah, Kingsdale. And he had just lost out. And now Narciso can stretch his legs over halfway. Great run this from Narciso. He's got support. Tries to poke it through to Stanger. And that's a lovely little ball. Stanger on side. Thought about the first time shot. Tries to hook it back onto his right foot instead. And well cleared in the end. He looks a thread up top early on here. Yeah, it was Tinsley. Luke Tinsley just clipping that little ball cleverly from midfield. Stanger. And taken half cleared, and then Hillier completes the job. Gil Lawn underneath it. Cleverly done by Tinsley. Gil Lawn wins his side of throw. So they'll get it forward. And that's headed away well by Hebden. Harvey forward to Hillier. Gets it back as Harvey looks to 
flick it forward. And it's Luca Wood bearing down, and it wins it back in a good position. That's a good bit of vision from Gil Law. Narciso is on the cover, though. That's the skipper for Walkden, Louis Quinn. Helping his team out. It's better just got to be careful clearing the lines, haven't they? Walkden. Walkden eventually can get it over halfway here. Stang has a little bit of time, more time than I think he realised. Yeah, he did. Could have received that, could have turned and allowed Liam Spinks on that far left-hand side to get down and support. And always important as a lone striker down the middle. Try and get hold of the ball. Allow your teammates the time to get up in support. Headed away by Aldrich. Bring it down. There's a diminutive number eight, Oliver Baker. Sent into the Kingsdale area for Stanger to give chase. In the end, Stan Holmes gets it away. Gilmore was sloppy there. Spinks drives in the early ball. Stanger checks it back. Hammered away by Stan Holmes. Gilmore again caught underneath it. I can't quite fashion anything from that, but Walton will get the ball again. That's tidy. Good feet from Tinsley. Still got it. Now to the right it goes. Slightly loose touch from Gaskill. Oh, Kings up and get it away with Luca Wood. He's got Hillier in support. Might try to switch the play. It's a wonderful bit of vision to Gil Lawn. Just let it go past him. He will just keep them in, I think. He did well in the end. Stan Holmes part of the challenge, so did Spinks. Stan Holmes in the end concedes the throw. No, it goes his way. I'm not sure the line's decision was right there, but it is a Kingsdale throw. Good to see. Well, it might have been a foul. Liam Spinks on the fullback. They got the throw in. A shove. Tenacious battles going on. All over the pitch. Not pulling out of that was uh, Charlie Harms, who flew into it. And he was caught. So that'll be a free kick to Kingsdown for a foul on the captain, Charlie Harms. Arms launches forward, cleared away. Maybe a chance for Walton to break it. It's a long ball. Stan has got pace and he'll get there first, I think. Goalkeeper did really well. Stan Holmes almost caught out, but right back. Bailed out by his goalkeeper, Woody Robinson, over on the far side. As we look at it, there's Gaskill, who couldn't quite latch onto the through ball. Walked in looking dangerous on the counter. Here yeah. is Gaskill. It's too far. Yeah, too heavy with the touch, but just going back to that moment, you just felt Robert Sanger could have been away. Was he going to get the better of Stan Harms? He did. The keeper was coming out, and it was just the coming together of Harms and Stanger just allowed the keeper to clear the ball. He's got some pace, the number nine up front for Walton. Yeah, so we're giving the defenders plenty to think about in the early stage of this one. So two is this man, Spinks. And on it goes. And it'll break here for Walton. Cross towards the far post. Headed down. Wasn't quite what Louis Quinn was uh, hoping for from that. Narciso prods it forward. Ran a cut. Back to Narciso. Running and the Kingsdale defence. Luke Tinsley. Ranakar forward. Aldridge away. Luca won't give that up. 
We'll get there first. We'll run this one away. Got here up with him. Oh, Might not well need it. Brilliantly done from Luca Woods. Oh, it's a good save. Bradley Woods to deny Luca Woods. Phenomenal forward play from the Kingsdale number nine. Yeah, he goes past Jack Hebden so easily. Lovely sort of drag of the ball on the inside. And then it's really a case of, is he going to be able to beat the keeper? Doesn't quite lift it. Needed to lift it over the keeper who was coming out to smother that. Corner swung in. Right under the goalkeeper, is it? No, it's the side netting in the end. It's a bit of a waste from the corner. But here's a little bit of skill, John. Yeah, it's this little feint and look at the key, at the uh, defender. Drags it in the inside. You've got to hand it to the keeper. Brilliant. Standing tall, standing big. Bradley Woods doing his job. Tidily done by Tinsley in the midfield. In way though, to Hillier, who really made something of it. See so and Hillier battling away. That's nicely. by Oliver Baker, battling away there, the little number eight. Goes up against his opposite number, captain of Walton, Quinn. Stepping out here is Aldridge. It's nicely dropped off by Stanger. Ball goes over the top, looking for Gaskill. It'll go all the way through to the goalkeeper, Woody Robinson. Tinsley again from that midfield area, number seven, just trying to Release those balls through into the channels, over the top of the centre-halves. Always looking for an opportunity to push the ball forward. Positive little player. Well, Kingsdale score in full voice down here to my right. You just get the sense that not too far the two strikers here could really be the difference. You see moments of quality from both number nines. They both lead the line by themselves for their teams. Might be the key battle in this one. Nice Gilmore won't quite keep that in. It'll be a throw in. From Liam Spinks will take. <laughs> Two harms. <laughs> throw the ball. There's Charlie then Stan. Hammered away by Aldridge. Underneath it was Hebden, but it wasn't the greatest clearance. Not for here for Kingsdale. Luca Wood should get there first. It's a nice first touch and again good vision from Wood. Gil Lawn looks to play it first time towards Hillier. We get a second attempt here. Gil Lawn tried to spin past Anderton, who was having none of it. Angus header finds Tinsley. Aldridge clearance. Well, both defences look fairly impressive early going here, John. Yeah, they do. Just thought Tinsley could have just played that down the line to Stanger. Stanger had made the run towards the channel. Those little decisions to be made, choices. Got to be right. Finds his way to the box. It finds Liam Spinks. Hammered away by Kingsdale. Look at Wood battling it for it. Out. He'll come here. Eastwood. 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 Back into the centre to Tinsley. Tinsley. Out to the right. And it's intercepted. Well, Walter, now see so. Now see so. Tinsley, Tinsley again. Having a lovely start of possession. Tinsley in this midfield position. He's holding the ball well. Finds Spinks. Finds his man. Out on the left, Spinks now, looking for some space. Pokes it through towards Stanger, but it's well cleared. Spinks again. Shows it to his arms and tries to take it away, but good defending this time by the right back. Yeah, he showed way too much of the ball. You're right, defence is on top. 
Tinsley or so the spell of possession. He going to be taken by Tinsley into the, the area it goes. Anyway, but anyway, only as far as Ranakart, who Rana takes the shot, and it's completely held by Woody Robinson. Yeah, worth the shot. It's a good release for Robinson. Terrific tackle by Narciso, that's a Nihilia route forward. Narciso is dispossessed this time. So just struggling to work it through their midfielders they'd like, but Oliver Beck looking to change that now. Luca Wood has options ahead of him. This is Gil Lawn. And they're in loads of space over on the other side. Gil Lawn might not need him. Drives it across and Hillier might just get there. He does. Can't quite wrap his foot around it. I think it was probably a shot from Gil Lawn, to be honest with you. But it fell kindly. For Jaden Henry. Uh, it's going to be difficult to wrap his left foot around it from there. Maybe he could have put his foot on it, regrouped, seeing if there was an opportunity to get the ball back in again. Gil Lawn did well. Miss hit that nearly turned into a great cross. Luca Wood unleashes the shot, well blocked. Gil Lawn first to the second ball. Can't quite poke it through the legs of Eastwood. And away. Come walked in. Good defending again from Charlie Harms. Yeah, good from Charlie Harms because he was up against the pace of the striker. Stenger again showing his willingness to run into the channels. So the area it goes. Again, in the way. Stenger tries to keep it alive. Got a fall here to Baker. Now Henry. Pulled up by Quinn. And Luca Wood should get their first hit. He does. Rarely gives the ball away, Luca Wood. Switch of play is a good one towards Gil Lawn. He's beaten to it by Eastwood. Should get there this time, though, Gil Lawn. Working hard to get back with Spinks. You can see the throw. With muscles, Baker out of it. Spinks and gets a toe in. Throwing goes Kingsdale's way. Luca Wood brings it down. Lovely touch again. Swings it across towards Jaden Henry. Held by Narciso. Stan Harms goes long. Luca Wood easing his defender out of it, given against him is the decision. Yeah, Anderton, ben Anderton just being lent into there by Luca Wood. Unfairly. Gil Lawn. Wood wins it and holds it. Baker can't quite get around Ranakart. Spinks down the line it goes. That's tidy from Gil Lawn, but he's dispossessed. The game's in a little bit of a lull here, John. Not a lot happening apart from a very competitive midfield battle, really. Yep. Yeah, I think just both teams are struggling to get into areas that they can better exploit the opposition. This could be one of them down the wide areas. Gil Lawn with a cross, a good looking ball as well, just a little bit over hit. Jaden Henry will retrieve it. That's where you want Jaden Henry just hanging out in the far post. That's what he's done most of this game. That time he decided to go in on the keeper. If it have held his run, it had better served him. Luca Wood, Henry outside him, doesn't need him, goes for goal. That's a good save. By uh, Bradley Woods, well held. But that's where you want Luca Wood, in and around the area. Well, that was all about his touch, wasn't it? And then getting out of his feet. Last defender, half a yard, and then he's going to take a shot. You haven't seen that so often from either side here. 
We've got to start to be looking to be a bit sharper in and around the final third. There you go. Straight at the keeper. Nice, comfortable one for Bradley Woods to comfortably take. Tinsley throws a good one. Ranakar over the top. That's a really good looking ball. And onto it goes Gaskill. Recovering well. There's Harvey. It'll be a free kick. Yeah, great ball from Ranikar. Looking for that space again, as both teams are. A little lift over the top. Ranikar, Gaskill. There you go. You just see the, the challenge that conceded the free kick. There you go. Here's the foul. Just comes in. Doesn't need to win it, just needs to shepherd it. Be patient. No need. Now they're going to pay the ultimate price from a moment of rash tackle. Gaskell still over no. it, takes the shot. Oh, not like that. Underneath it. Oh dear. It's not my fault. It's the wind. Yeah, not the greatest straight from Oliver Gaskill. <laughs> I don't know what he's uh, complaining about. It's the referee's fault, if in doubt. Didn't allow it from the right spot. Tinsley's throw. Taken away by Harms. Ranaka. Henry does well, uses his body to good effect to escape away down the left hand side. Quinn at his back. We've got a challenge in there, Quinn, and Henry's quicker than Narciso hit. Narciso eventually gets his challenge in and concedes the throw, but that's a good run from Jaden Henry. First sub of the day is about to be made, 24 minutes in, and it will be Jaden Henry who will depart. And it's Alex Vasconcelos who is about to join us. And making way will be the number seven of Jaden Henry over on our far side. Poor Jaden Henry just done a lung busting 50 yard run. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to get all the way back from the corner flag to be substituted. There's going to be another change as well. Gantuan yeah. Don is about to join us. He's going to replace Finley Tozer at the heart of midfield. So eventually, after all that, we'll uh, rejoin with a Kingsdale throw in. Let's see what impact they can make as we have this throw. Steve Martin, the referee, just urging Harley to get on with it. Oh, dear, well, he certainly had a lot of time to think about that throw. That's not exactly what he would have envisaged. Baker's done well there to get anything out of that. Here's the substitute. Don. It's nicely done. Gil Lorne takes a shot on. And it was a good strike as well, but once again for Bradley Woods, one he'd very much expect to save. A couple of nice touches from the two Kingsdale substitutes early on from Baston Salos and from Don. There's Spinks now with space. Stan Hans has work to do. Cross comes in from Spinks. Fully cleared. Harvey should be able to do that now. Can't quite Robert find Vasco to sell off though. Gets a second bite at the cherry. Flies through. Ranaka. Narciso. Gets on the other side of it though. And rides a couple of challenges. Still going. It's a nice release of the ball as well. Quinn. That's Tinsley in space. Thinks about a shot. Goes for it. Deflected. 
Four for Spinks. Dentist round Holmes. Good recovery from Holmes. He got that knock on the side of his face early in the game, but he's really stuck at his job very, very well. The right back could have easily have succumbed to the power and the pace. Stuck at it brilliantly. Corner will be taken by Tinsley. Swung out. Not on by Quinn into the danger area. It's uh, Don who gets that away. Played again by Don. He's been pretty heavily involved since he's come on. Gaskill stroke. Towards the edge of the area. And away by Stanger. It might fall here for Quinn. Don was there once again. Ran a cart. Tidy footwork finds Gaskell. Harvey gives him a little nudge in the back and gets it away as far as I see so. Spinks looking to turn past Gil Lorne. Gets a shot in left foot. It was good effort as well. And again, good hands. Just time for Woody Robinson. Yeah, you think. Maybe nothing would come of that, but it was worth, certainly worth a shot. We know that Spinks has got a decent left foot on him. Tested the keeper, comfortable in the end for him, but it just make them think at the back there, Kingsdale. That's a good ball to kill Norman, he loses his footing. Eastwood goes forward to Spinks, he's been heavily involved from the left wing for Walkton. Tidy from Tinsley, takes Don out of the game. Goes through another couple of challenges. Is there an end product with Tinsley? Unfortunately not, it's going to be a goal kick in the end. A little bit unlucky. Yeah, he was unlucky. Positive run again. You'll see the little ricochet. There's the strike from Spinks. I mean, fortunately, from a Kingsdale point of view, it's straight to the keeper. Easy for that man to... Save. That's going to be a walked in throw. Spinks helps it on. Don again into the fray in the centre of midfield. He's been good to just come on as Gantuan Don. Arms forward to Luca Wood. First you've seen of him in a little while. He's looking to break three of a few challenges. He does work hard, Luca Wood, but you can't help but feel he's been a little bit isolated in this first half at times. Does seem to be the main attacking threat of Kingsdale. I'll see so away. Don beaten to it by Stanger. Ball across his near side towards Spinks. Too much strength for Stan Harms. That's a nice football down the line. Charlie Harms across to deal with the danger. Charlie Harms wins ahead of this time. Baker completes the clearance. Eastwood back. That's Aldridge's ball out to the left hand side. And a chance now for Vasconcelos to get on the move. But Narciso stopped him. It's tidy defending from Narciso. Did well to get to the second ball. The pass was a little bit loose from Gaskell with a chance for Quinn to move up against the defence there of Kingsdale. And with less than five minutes to go in this first half, we remain goalless. And in particular, the last, 20, the last 10 minutes or so, they have not seen too much in the way of goal mouth action. Very open start. It's been shut down in recent moments. This is Tinsley looking to go against the grain here. Good feet. A tidy little ball looking for Spinks. Stepping on the cross. Aldridge on the cover as well. Gets it away. Walton has certainly had a lot more of the ball in that 10 minute spell, but not really tested Woody Robinson in the goal. No, they haven't. Not just uh, that final third again, getting into good areas. But then it's the choice of the delivery or that final pass into feet. 
Luke Tinsley did really, really well there on the edge of the box, but it was just that little ball to feed through to Liam Spinks that was just missing. Louis Tinsley on again with the throw. And it's got a fairly lengthy one. Should be able to reach the edge of the box from here. Oh, I like Don. Baker and Gilmore now as collide. Ranikar backing up the play well. Quinn well beaten to it. Ranikar charges into a challenge. Vasconcelos can't get away. Eventually it's launched forward. And Luca Wood brings it down and for once his touch lets him down. You see the frustration for Luca Wood. He's not sure when he'll see the ball again. This is Tinsley. Well intercepted by Hilliot. Narciso gets to Ranikar, but Harvey nips ahead of him. And Luca Wood again gives himself available as an option, but he's beaten to it by Hebden. Now Gaskell. Ranikar and Baker went into the challenge together. It's a good turn from Tinsley. Battling with Don. Eastford. Spinks looks to swing in the early cross. Aldridge will hammer away. That's a handy looking ball from Gilmore. And Luca Wood forces a throw this time. Had to do an awful lot of running. And chasing is Luca Wood. Got to credit his work ethic, but Kingsdale have to get midfielders up to him. You feel as if it's a really threaten the goal. That's what I've noticed on a couple of occasions. They've just been slow to get forward. Support this man on the ball here now. But also the wider players. You know, they've only maybe got three players up. But the rest, the defence, the midfield have been a little bit slow to get up. And that squeezes and pushes Walton back into their half. But too happy to concede space. And that's allowing walked in a little bit more ability to dictate the pace and tempo of the game and the possession. Not the greatest goal kick from walked in, but they get away with it. Yeah, they're going to be snapping away at heels, going and closing down. Just prepared to sort of sit off a little bit, aren't they, Kingsdale? And I think that's why they can't really get a grip of the game. As it stands, nil-nil. Now, see, sir. The status quo has been kept. And that's a foul by Harvey. You do think the way that the game's gone that walked in high. Maybe we frustrated that they haven't found a breakthrough. I think he's been sensational. Narciso down on that right hand side. Been very positive, defensively sound, but just going forward, he's looked to get down the right hand side every opportunity he could. Tinsley's free kick. Slice in towards the far post. Quinn got the header and it goes through. But you can certainly see what we mentioned before the game, John. This is a, a, def a defence that does not concede many goals. And unsurprisingly, maybe at half time, it is Kingsdale nil, Walkden nil. Yeah, conceded three goals the entire what, nine rounds, I suppose. Yeah, very strong, very disciplined, well organised. A lot for the two managers, James Stewart for Kingsdale and Andrew Tobut for Walkden to think about. And it's really who is going to be first to break the deadlock. We'll see in the second half coming up soon. Yeah, that first goal could be all important. It's half time here at Pride Park. We'll be back with you with the second half of Kingsdale versus Walkden in a little bit. A very warm welcome back to Pride Park. PlayStation Schools Cup action here this week. And you join us for the resumption of the under-13 Schools Cup for B teams final. Kingsdale in red, walked in in white, nil-nil at the break. There will be a change of goalkeeper for walked in in this second half. It's uh, Bradley Woods, who's been replaced by Oliver Cope. 
in the uh, walked and goal. Referee Steve Martin just making sure everyone's about. Slightly ironic because everyone was waiting for him for <laughs> three minutes to start the second half. Yeah. But uh, the players have been anxiously waiting out on the pitch and they finally get their chance to resume this game. Walked in a lot more of the ball in the first half. But no real chances to show for their efforts. Nice. Kingsdale team very well defensively drilled. Yeah, but does that come at the expense of getting forward and supporting Luca Wood? It's a little bit deep, I think, at times. I think they've got to push out, be quicker to go and support him and get players forward, squeeze the space, close down. And this is Narciso, who was impressive in the first half. That's a clever little ball, and that's good from Quinn. And Gaskill's offside. It's a good ball across as well from Gaskill. That was a lovely walk to move. Yeah, it was. It was brilliant. Louis Quinn, the captain, with a lovely rolling ball into the space. Oliver Gaskell just drifted offside. That nice early attack. Long from the goalkeeper. It was Woody Robinson. One year by Quinn. Luca Wood brings under control really nicely. Again, just crowded out. You can see immediately there three players around the number nine. That's a good ball to Vasconcelos. He's looking to turn away from Narciso. Can't get around him. It's tidy from Gaskill. Quinn's going to let that one run out. He's a nice little player, Narciso. He's done well. He's actually got a good balance, hasn't he, of getting forward and defensively OK. That's nicely done by Jaden Henry, back on for the start of the second half. Replacing uh, Gil Lorne at half-time. It's well done by Harvey to clear. Yeah, it was an awkward one, wasn't it? Let's drop here for Don, it does, and a good bit of skill to take it away from his man and here's Vasconcelos again faced up by Narciso looks to play the early ball a little bit too flat to really threaten the defence so he deal with it well Henry back here to Hilliard and now it's Baker Henry dinks it forward doesn't find Wood and two Kingsdale players guilty of leaving it for each other there they get away with it Stanger gave it away launch clear by Hebden uh, it's almost like you feel Kingsdale need to have two up front. It's whether they're going to compromise on the numbers further back, but I just sense that if they've got any real ambition of taking the lead, getting this game and grabbing it by the scruff of the neck, uh, they're doing a little number 10 in the space off him or somebody alongside him maybe. This is Gantuan Don, who finds Jaden Henry. It's a little bit more like it from Kingsdale. The pass from Baker wasn't the greatest. We'll get a second bite at it now, though. And if Henry could have escaped the challenge of Quinn. He could have switched the play there, which was on. Spinks goes down the line, gives Stanger something to chase. He'll beat Arms to that. Switch of play, finds Quinn. And now Narciso joins the party. Good feet again from Narciso. Just took on a little bit too much. This is Tinsley. Fires it into Stanger. That's a good ball. Helped on to Quinn. He couldn't quite bring it under control. Gaskill does well. He loses out there. Gets the ball away to Aldridge. Narciso in the challenge. Vasconcelos. Harvey. Don wanted to turn. If he plays the advantage for the foul on Harvey as he released it, this is Jaden Henry. Again, this is more like it from Kingsdale, getting a few more men into the attack. It was given away, and Tinsley doesn't want to mess about with it there. Hillier robs him, and Wood has support to his left. Might not need it. Wood looks to go all the way through on the left-hand side, and that's a good challenge by Hebden. A little bit better from Kingsdale, John. It was, but it just shows you the importance of trying to find number nine. There he is, Luca Wood. 
Yes, it's a good interception from Hebdom in the end, but just feel that this game's there for the taking for either of these two sides if they just work things out. Gantuan Don will take the corner. Swings in. Hebden with a rather clumsy clearance. Don just lets that one go out for the throw. Don's throw. Hillier. Swung in by Harvey. Mike fall here for Jaden Henry. He's got plenty of men up with him. One of them is on a breaker with a shot. He'll fall here for Vasconcelos and brilliantly tackled by Hebden. Brilliant. Hebden not once but twice rescued his side. Brilliant. Threw his body on the line. Kingsdale once again on the attack. Baker finds Vasconcelos, who was in with a shout of scoring the game's first goal before the light was blocked out in front of him. A brilliant challenge by Jack Hebden. He chases the ball down now. Brilliant bit of defending, and he can play a bit too. Nicely done, but that pass is loose. And I'll see so left it. This is Hillier. Picks out Henry. First touch was not what he wanted. Tindley tries to help it on. Harvey gets the challenge in. Tinsley launches it over the top and Sphinx is quick. So too is Stan Harms, who clears out for a throw. And let's take a look at this one. Heroic defending. Yeah, it was a great block. Destined for the top corner, it looked. And then he gets there again. Another strike again. Good shot, equally as good. Jack Hebden. I think there's an indication there. We were talking about Kingsdale and well, it's a great catch. That's a good, good catch, good handling as you've seen all week. But just, you know, when they had the corner, obviously that drew up the, the Kingsdale players. Sometimes it's just a numbers game, first and foremost. Got four, five, six, seven, eight bodies up there attacking. That's better from Jaden Henry. Baker's up with him in the middle. Hand in the air, wants the ball. Henry cuts inside. More support out. There's a switch of play on here. Can he oh. pick him out? A little bit over here. Well, he will just get here, Hillier. Wins the corner. Well, there's acres of space. It should have been, just needed a, a better quality ball. Keeper stayed rooted to the spot. Thought he was going to regret that here. Just over hit. Manages to retrieve it, but pushed him too wide. Corner taken quickly and short. Antoine Don is onside. Plays it across the face, and that's Hillier with the shot. And a good save from the goalkeeper. First time that uh, Oliver Cope has been called into action since coming off the bench at half time. And that was a good save. Well, Gantuan Don did really well. Pulled the ball back. Knew it was into a dangerous area. Here he is again. And advancing through. Thinks about the shot, takes it on. I think it was tackled just before he could really properly strike it. Jaden Henry will keep it alive. Brilliant skill from Henry. Tries to curl it in from the tight angle and over the bar it goes. Lovely play for the young man. Kingsdale, a team almost unrecognisable oh, a... from the one we saw in the first. Straight to the keeper again. Seen that on a number of occasions. Simple one for the keeper to deal with. But an indication may be that King... Kingsdale are trying to take control of this game. He's walked him back on the ball. Loose. I'll see so in the way. Harvey does well. Don, Gabor, Wood. A little bit short, but Vasconcelos does well. Tries to pick out Wood again. Comes a little bit loose. And Ranikar steps in to thunder clear. Here he is touch. Just showed too much of it. 
to Quinn. Dinked over the top, keeper. Willie Robinson is alert, but he doesn't get there first, and Stanger had a real chance there. I think with the amount of defenders behind him, I think he had to go for goal first time if he was going to get the touch first. Difficult chance, but every moment for Woody Robinson. It's a great chance. Lovely ball through from Luke Tinsley. Got it out of his feet, had some space, knew that... There you go. Go and chase that, and he did, and he won the race. Now CISO in space. Played into the middle, cleared by Aldridge, and now Michael Wood can get on his way, but he's beaten to it by Hebden. This is Wood, Baker, looks to pick out Henry. Important clearance from West, from Eastwood. Henry, space on this side here for Gascon Celos. Angles in across, header away by that man, Hebden. He's coming to the fore as Kingsdale apply the pressure at the start of the second half. Harvey and Gaskell clash, and again, Gaskell shoves Harvey out of the way, but that will be Morton throw. The two coaches, James Stewart there of Kingsdale, just saw Andrew Tobert and walked in just at the front of your shot. Looks like Kingsdale are prepping a substitution. We'll wait to see who that is in just a minute. This is Oliver Baker, who looked like he got a push in the face there from Narciso. There we go. Narciso again, physical defending. Casco. Tinsley can't quite escape the attention of three Kingsdale midfielders. And on by Harvey, on by Hillier. Vasconcelos wins it. Baker gets the second ball. Everyone stopped for a handball, but it wasn't given. Luca Wood, that's a good little ball for Henry. Couldn't quite control it. Stepping into it here is Stan Harms. Wood. Well, to hold on to it, but eventually crowded out. Sphinx now has space to run into. This is four and three here. Pokes it through, and a really good opportunity for Walkton. What a challenge that is by Aldridge. Stanger's still there. Hooks it back across. Can Gaskill get the shot away? Might fall for Tinsley. Aldridge again hooks clear, and eventually Kingsdale survive. Oh, Aldridge with a great challenge for the last man. Look at that. Superb Four from Luca Woods. Four whites around Luca Wood. Brings another player into play. It's Jaden Henry. Tries to poke it back to Wood as well. Wood has to look for other options. Oh, and Don's pass is loose. He just see though. Wood just put his hands on his knees. Yeah, well, Vasconcelos was free. The pass mean better. Now he picks the ball up. Hebden was a little bit loose, but he recovered really well. Gaskill drops off for Tinsley. Quinn's pass is very short. And then Hebden shuts the door in front of Baker. Here's a defending from Aldridge jump. Yeah, that's a great tackle. So important that he got there, and then got back up on his feet. Averted the danger. Very good. Alex right, Vasconcelos is making way. And it's Rufus McNulty who's going to replace him. And he is making way for Alex Vasconcelos. It's going to be a couple of changes for Walkton as well. This is. Paul Villa making his way on to replace Liam Spinks, who's worked very hard, but not had the impact he has he had in the first half in the second. 
And we've also got Sam Edge, who's about to come on as well. He's going to replace Oliver Gaskill. Great kit. Smart, smart kit, isn't it? Looks very good. Speaking like a man who is used to playing in white shirts. Tinsley. Can't quite find the ball, but Harvick nearly got caught there. Tinsley again. Kingsdale clear. Break could be on here. Hedden did really well. Narciso into the middle. Walked in. Just trying to get a bit of impetus back in their attack with these substitutions. They've not been the same team in the second as they were in the first. No, I think that's a lot to do with Kingsdale, with how they've come out for this, how they've approached the second half. Been on the front foot. Been more aggressive, quicker. Squeezed out. You'll see so to edge. Ranica. Quinn, that's a tidy ball first time. Looking to find foot space is Stanger, but Aldridge shut the door. It's a good looking ball to Luca Woods. He's got Hebden for company. And that time Hebden knew what was coming. And puts it out for a throw. It was a lovely goal that played from either side. Yeah, it's just where he got caught for a second there. Had a chat with his goalkeeper afterwards, told him to give him a shout, be a bit more alert. King's down throw. Stan Hans finds Gantuan Dollars. A nice little ball around the corner. Henry dances through. Dollars a tight little ball. Baker in a nice little pocket of space. Tries to force it through to Cook. To Wood on the turn. Drives a shot inside netting. Well, you just angle there. That is rifled into the top corner for half yeah. a second there. For a moment, just thought he was going to pull that back. Get it inside that. Far post, we'll see how close it is here. Yeah, not a million miles away, but goalkeeper had it covered. Jaden Henry bursts through the challenge. The wood in the middle picks him out. Oh, what a important challenge that is by Hebden. Gantu Anton drives it back into the middle. Head to there once again. He's been a rock in this second half in particular. He's been everywhere, hasn't he? Harvey. Forward by Aldridge. Don pokes it forward. Well done by Quinn. And now Tinsley can look to escape. There's a lovely boy over the top of Stanger to give chase. Aldridge with him every step of the way. Dives into the tackle. Stanger's beaten him. Great opportunity. Couldn't quite keep the composure. What a good opportunity for Walkden. Robert Stanger was away. Well, it was. First, we had Luca Wood down the other end. He hit the side netting. This time, Robert Stanger hits the side netting. For Walkden, it stays nil-nil. But how much longer? Aldridge came over there, last ditch tackle, tried to reach the ball, didn't. He was a bit lucky that Stanger didn't use that as an excuse to go down. Well, I, I did think the first reaction was that he'll go down, and there will be just the slightest contact. Here the substitute has just come on, this is Mario Frattini. Looking to have a bit of an immediate impact, it will go straight through here, it's a good save. 
shot came in from his fellow substitute, Rufus McNulty. Fairly straightforward save in the end for Cope. It's another Kingsdale shot. It's a good-looking ball. Villa. Stan Harms leaning into him. Villa to hold him off well. That's terrific skill from Paul Villa. Oh, Pokes brilliant. it through. It's a nice ball. Tinsley, good stop by Woody Robinson. Excellent starting position for Robinson. Really made the difference there. Henry does well. Now the game's just starting to become a little bit stretched. Henry has Frattini up with him. Wood to his left. Here he is. Luca Wood brings in Gantuan Don. Hillier. Poor pass. Harvey forward. Wood can control it. Interestingly, with the change, John, Luca Wood seems to be playing a little bit deeper. He's playing off Frattini. Yeah. It's definitely an attacking change by Kingsdale. One that we identified at the start of the half might work and here is Wood bringing into play McNulty McNulty looking to turn as well good turn from Don as well dispossessed by Stang out it was good tackling back from the forward it's those three Walton players driving forward Tinsley that's a good looking ball offside though it's Villa he did really well. Just couldn't quite time his run. This was a chance for Kingsdale a few moments ago. Just here. Chance again, straight at the goalkeeper. Good strike, side foot. Pretty comfortable for the keeper to First of all, parry and then collect. But you're right. I was hoping that we'd see Kingsdale push two up front. Frattini on. Support for Luca Wood. Two wide players. Really the emphasis on those front four to make things happen. Similarly, I think from Walkden, from their perspective, they've got to get forward whenever they can. They're doing that now with Tinsley. Stretches to try and reach it through the gap of the defence. It's well defended. Oh, that's nicely done by Woody Robinson. Does look a confident goalkeeper. That's my Don. That's a useful looking ball. Fatini couldn't get on the end of it though. Villa trying to force it through. Cleared by Aldridge. Ranaka. Henry wins the header. Don underneath it will clear. Running car with a cute little chip towards Villa and helps it on. Aldridge missed his kick, but he had Harvey backing him up. 12 minutes left of this final. And as yet, no goals. We've not seen a goal was draw at this competition so far over the one and a half days. Tinsley's pass was a little bit loose. It's Asker all of edge. Aldridge just sees him out. What can these coaches do to inspire a winner? Here's the uh, lovely bit of skill from Woody Robinson. See you later. <laughs> Throw in from Tinsley, away by Aldridge. The four foot McNulty, a lovely first touch, and Wood can turn here. He's got two up with him, McNulty and Frattini. Lovely one, too. Wood will send Frattini away. And how's Frattini's pace? Heads him back at him. Frattini takes the early shot, and it's over the bar. The credit must go there to Hebden for putting him under so much pressure. Yeah, it was good defending, but much better, much, much better from Kingsdale. Great link-up play. Luca Wood looks a lot happier that he's got somebody alongside him. Working well with Frattini, as we saw there. Frattini very clever just to set the ball back in. 
perfectly weighted and then got the return ball into space. Well, it's suddenly King Sale, who looked the most positive of these two sides. Walked in slightly lacking the maybe the physical stature within this side. Certainly not at the back with Hebden, but maybe throughout other areas, key areas. There's a couple of changes made for Walkden. Oliver Byrne and Jake Bushby coming on, most notably, I think. Robert Stanger, the centre forward's gone off. Straight swap, it appears, with Bushby. Supporters enjoying themselves, which is good to see. They've got three little ones up front, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, it's very small. You've got to play it to feet, get in and around, give and goes, be smart. Right, the ball looking for the target, big man. <laughs> this is Tinsley, dances away from Don. Onto his favourite left foot, takes a shot on and high and wide. That's all right, got to keep doing that. He's a man who's certainly got the ability to unlock this game. Yeah, you're spot on, John. Three very diminutive players up front for, for Walkden. It's almost like a Salford version of the Barcelona triumvirate for, <laughs> yeah. from a few years ago. Two of them just getting into his way. For a second there, but here's Kingsdale who get back in possession. Wood shakes off Narciso, and Henry has space to run into if he can beat his man. He can't quite. Snaps back into a tackle, though. Wood was calm. We inch closer to penalties. Played 62 minutes. We still have yet to see a goal. Narciso. Brilliantly done. Drives past another. Aldridge across. He's had a very quietly good game as Aldridge. Not had to do too much dramatic like Hebden have walked in, but he's been very, very effective at the back. Nicely done by Henry. Henry's done well. Picks out Don. Just loses his grip on the ball there with his left foot. Tinsley fights it forward. That's nicely done. Back into the path of Tinsley, just a little bit over here. Narciso. Away it goes. Luca Wood again, clever use of his body. Henry. Not like a handball by Tinsley, referee won't play on. This is Narciso. Forward to the substitute, Bushby. Tinsley. Bushby immediately on his bike, wants it back. Tinsley picks out a better ball. Quinn couldn't quite control it, but Villa's straight onto it. Beautifully down by Villa. Tinsley, he's got the running forward from Bushby. Didn't use him, takes the shot on instead. He knows that was the wrong decision. And the game just starting to become a little bit stretched. Neither one of these two want to go to penalties. Left and away. Aldridge clears. Hebden returns. Midfield being bypassed entirely here until Hilliot and Quinn got involved. Tinsley stopped by Harvey. And Harms lost out to Villa before here for Bushby. Woody Robinson clears. It's a good kick as well. Underneath it's Frattini. 
quite get ahead on it. And now, chance here for Kingsdale. We've got plenty of men up in this attack. This is Rufus McNulty. Pokes it through the legs of Eastwood, who defends well. And it looks like we are gradually crawling towards penalties. Yeah, I just can't, can't see a breakthrough coming. Which is always the cue for a goal. <laughs> yeah, let's hope that commentator's curse strikes <laughs> safe. <laughs> Tinsley. Well, it's got to stay nil-nil. That's a good-looking ball. Bushby over the top. Harvey lets Wood, D. Robinson, deal with it. Did very, very well to Woody Robinson. I'll see so. Went for the one two. Don across to get the tackle in. Quinn Ford. Oh, it was a great ball towards Bushby. Don nearly took his head off with that flick, and it comes to Tinsley. 20 yards out, bit of space. Takes a shot in. And it is dragged wide. He could be the man in the spotlight in a few minutes. It could well be. Could Woody Robinson, if one of these two teams can't find the breakthrough. Well, still near Park, the rain starting to Aldridge. McNulty battling away with Quinn. Does well, McNulty. Does really well. Pass was lacking, though. And it has just been that final ball, hasn't it? Yeah. Most of the time, hasn't it, John? McNulty again. Wood. Options to his left. Takes a shot on left footed. It's ambitious. Cope with the save. And McNulty will make something of that. And he's annoyed at Jaden Henry that wasn't, he wasn't closer to him. Great following up by McNulty. Oh, and Wood drove it across, and Henry couldn't get the touch. That's as close as we've come for a little while. Well, that's typical of what can happen in the game, isn't it? It was a shot, and suddenly it becomes a cross. Henry coming in on that far post. Almost realised too late. Another substitution. You know, they'll be starting to maybe look at penalties. Yeah, substitute's just been made. Hilly has come off, Toza has come on. Toza has started the game. Yeah. There he is, straight into the action. Oh, the reins right, are here again. Knew they weren't far away. Gantel and Don, nicely done, Luca Wood, dance onto his right foot, floats across it towards Jaden Henry who couldn't quite get on the end of it, might still break it for Gantel and Don, takes the touch, McNulty, Luca Wood again, tries to dance through, wants a free kick, he's not getting one. Go sent long by Walkton. That's tidy from Aldridge. A really nice ball as well. Don. Lovely first touch from Frattini. Options ahead of him. Deflected and it nearly came through. Goalkeeper Cope will get there first. And we were just talking about Woody Robinson. And there's Cope who was sent on at half time as the substitute goalkeeper. Any for his thoughts. Lovely first touch from Don, finds McNulty, that's nicely done, Frattini, options either side, Frattini might go all the way, still going Frattini, Mario Frattini to win it, off the line, McNulty still there for Kingsdale, and they get it away, as far as Gantuan Don, incredible end here, Don beats his man, danger still not gone, Hebden heads clear, Wow, 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 wow. Mario Frattini 
oh. nearly produced one of the goals of the tournament in the final minute, which would have won it. A stunning run, and the finish was just lacking. He beat the goalkeeper. He didn't have the power to beat the defender on the line. No, I told you it was going to stay nil-nil. <laughs> wow. Oh, it should have been the winner. Surely it would have been the winner had he been able to put that away. Lovely, lovely run. Still going. This is Luca Wood looking for Frattini, and he gets a second chance now. Mario Frattini heads and back at him, and once again, the man from walked in with a crucial tackle. And the referee blows full time, bang on 70 minutes, no stoppage time. We will have a penalty shootout. Incredible end. And uh, we'll just try and have a look at that run from Frattini, yeah. if we can. Here it was, magical skill. Just rolls the ball over. Tackle doesn't come in. Uh, it's a team effort, wasn't it? Who else on the line but Hebden? Well, and uh, we didn't actually have time because of the the drama here. Here's the slow mo replay. Look at the anticipation from Hebden. Really, really good. And that's how close they came to winning it. Who well, is the man in that a, shot? Uh, well, I think that's a good time to just mention how well Hebden there in shot number four for Walton High School. He's my man of the match. Number four, Jack Hebden. Really solid game. Excellent at the back for Walton. Covered so many spaces and areas off the back of his teammates. Stepped in for tackles when needed. Really, really fine commanding performance. I thought Luke Tinsley did well. Narciso did very, very well. Number two, the right back. Very good players, Liam Spinks, Oliver Gaskill, but for me, that man there, Jack Hebden, towering display at the back, tall in stature and, well, very effective, reads the game well, brave, well, technically good. If go on to win this on penalties, then they'll look at that moment at the end of the, no at the 70 minutes as the saving moment of it. Just checking. Is that my Jack name Hedden up there? Has just seen yeah, this player of the match. Yeah, I've seen it. But no, it's a PlayStation 4. I've got a penalty possibly to take here. I've got to stay focused. Come on. Well, it all comes Wait. down to this then. We will have a penalty shootout for the second time today. This one, far less dramatic. The circumstances in the first game we had, where uh, we had... Uh, Borden Shaw come back from 3 0 down in game one today in the second half. The third equalising goal coming in the last 20 seconds of stoppage time to force penalties. This one has been an altogether different game, far more defensive, far tighter. But ultimately, it comes down to the same outcome a penalty shootout. There will be heroes, there will be villains. I suppose it makes sense though, John, after a fairly tight nil-nil, the defender does win man of the match. Yeah, um, as I said, I think Luke Tinsley had done very well. He looked to make things happen, balls over the top and whatever else, move and play it well. Louis Quinn, Luca Wood, Gil Lorne at times. I mean, you look down the list, Charlie Harms, captain for Kingsdale. I mean, some really good performances out there, as I said, Narciso. I thought right back ran Jack Hebden close. But in the end, I think Hebden throughout the game stuck to it brilliantly. You can see the concentration, the job he had to do for this team, get them in it near the end. It will be penalties then, and it will be Kingsdale who will take first. Substitute goalkeeper at half time. Oliver Cope will face it. The first player up is Gantawan Don for Kingsdale. Don takes and blazes over. Oh dear. Horrible penalty from Gantawan Don. 
And he may well have immediately handed the advantage to Walkden with the very first kick of the shootout. Got right underneath it, it's not even close. No, dreadful penalty. Oh dear, never nice. Anyway, long way to go. Well, if you, I was just about to say, if you are going to miss one, probably best that it is the first. It does give some time for a recovery. And they're going to lean heavily on their goalkeeper, Woody Robinson, making a real scene on the line. Take a look at this, it's edge for Walkton. And what a good penalty that is. Had to be. Woody Robinson guessed the right way. And that's a good penalty. Yeah, very good penalty. Just looking over the referee, waits for the whistle. He knows exactly what he's doing. You can see the run-up, the purpose, the focus, the concentration and the finish. Absolutely first class. So Mario Frattini, substitute so nearly won it in regular time. Scores calmly done. thinking, why couldn't I do that <laughs> five minutes ago? Yeah, just sent the goalkeeper cope the wrong way. So it'll be Oliver Byrne to take this one, who came on late on as a substitute. Significant size differences there. Oliver Byrne. Yeah, scores. Very calmly taken penalty from Oliver Byrne. That's the goalkeeper. Straight away. Gosh. Woody Robinson buries it. <laughs> well, he did notice when he had that moment of skill where he dribbled it past the attacker that yeah. he did have the air of a of an outfield player playing in goal at times, Woody Robinson, and that's a very confidently taken penalty. Right. It's the captain. To, Next to maintain this advantage. It's Quinn. Okay, well, that's all Walk didn't want to do is just score the five penalties and they'll win it. Two more, and it's theirs. Kingsdale have got a hope for a slip up from Walkden. They've got to convert this first. Rufus McNulty next up for Kingsdale. Got to score. Oh, that's very calmly done. Okay, just waiting for the goalkeeper. With the four penalties taken for Kingsdale. It's still that first one by Gantuan Don. Yes. Which could be the difference. And this is going to be Ben Anderton. Centre back. Yeah, Centre half coming up to take this. Come on, do the centre half union proud. Oh, my son. Yes, no <laughs> doubt. Well. No doubt. It's match point, Walkden. They know that if they score their next penalty, they will win it. They may not even need to do that because if Jaden Henry can't score. For Kingsdale, it will be Walkton's trophy. It almost sort of two bites of the cherry, isn't it? Can they save this, miss this, or can they score theirs? Let's see. It's Henry. It's saved. Oh, it's saved. And it's Walkton. Oliver Cope, the hero. And it's Walkton's trophy. from the spot, four out of four, and Kingsdale's two misses the difference. The substitute goalkeeper, Oliver Cope, is the hero.
for Walkton High School. Dejection for Kingsdale, who came so close to winning it right at the end of normal time. But it wasn't quite to be, and a lovely moment between the two goalkeepers there. Yeah. But here's the winning moment. Jaden Henry took it. And a good save. Strong hands from Oliver Cope. And look at what it means to these youngsters. It is Walkton who will lift the English Schools FA and the 13 Schools Cup for B teams. Yeah, fantastic scenes. Happy days for Walkton High School. Some great performances out there today. Same too for Kingswood. They can be equally as proud of their performance. The journey they've been on all season to come here and play at Pride Park. Fantastic occasion, experience they'll never forget. Of course, it's always cruel. Somebody has to lose on penalties, but today... It's definitely Walkden's moment. And they fully deserve it. Well done. And that will do is for this final. No goals in normal time. And it is Walkden who walk away with the trophy for three on penalties. The presentations and interviews are coming very shortly. With me and John for this game. It's goodbye for now.
joined here by the victorious coach, Andrew Tobert. Talk to me a little bit about that game. You've got your players celebrating behind you. Very, very close. Decided on penalties at the end. You must be delighted. Uh, nervous wreck for the last 70 minutes. Unbelievable. Unbelievably proud of uh, the 16. The boys that came on. All of us were saving the penalties at the end. He didn't want to go in goal for the penalty shootout. Bradley was going to be the one in goal taking the uh, saves. But no, fair play to him. Absolutely brilliant from front to back. Wonderful. And a lot of has to be said as well for your opposition today. They gave oh. you a very, very close game. Wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. All respect goes to Kingsdale for such a hard fought game. They, they gave us a real good game. And I mean, I'm indebted to. You know, boys at the back for keeping them out at the end and Jack Ebden's last-ditch cha challenges here, there and everywhere. Really kept us in the game, but no, Kingsdale, absolutely superb. I applaud all their members of staff and their players for giving such a, a great game today, such a, a wonderful spectacle anyway. And you mentioned that clearance by Jack. Just talked to you about that man in the match performance. Nothing was getting by him today, was it? No, not at all. He was, he was here, he was there, and he was, he was everywhere. It was an absolutely wonderful performance from him. And, and the boys have been brilliant all year. And, we just needed one more performance and, and thankfully we got it today. So as we go, it's absolutely brilliant. Well, you certainly did. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Tobert, head coach of Walkton. Joined now by James Stewart, coach of Kingsdale. James, such a cruel way to lose on penalties, especially when you gave so much to the game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, first of all, obviously, a big congratulations to Walkden High School. I thought they were superb. It was a great game of football. It was a real battle for the full length of the game, the full 70 minutes. Uh, boys are obviously gutted in the change room now. I thought they were fantastic, though. So we're over the moon with the performance and the experience. And uh, hopefully we'll you know, be here again next year, possibly, and get a better result. Is that the thing for you to take from today, the, the general experience of the day? The boys have obviously loved it until the very last moment. It's just that desire to make it here again, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. They've, um, they've learned a lot from today and have loved the experience of it. Uh, you know, getting to play on a bigger pitch in a proper stadium is fantastic. Uh, parents were here supporting them. You know, it made a fantastic occasion. Um, and they'll want to replicate that and do it again, I'm sure, yeah. Well, I wish you all the best. Congrats on a great final. Thank you very, very much.